Hello and welcome to the Community College Showcase. My name is Jenica Heim and I'm your Education USA advisor in Canada. If you are not familiar with Education USA yet, we are a US State Department program. We help students from all across the world with applying to US universities. I'm the advisor in Canada, so I help Canadian students. If you are in any other country, we have an advisor near you near you. Um, you can simply go to educationusa.state.gov to get in touch with your local advisor. At the Education USA Center in Canada, I help students with one-on-one -on -one advising, with, with boot camps, with um, such as ones with SAT or the Common App. We do updates on social media. And the one that I use most frequently is Instagram. So if you're uh, somebody who likes Instagram, definitely check us out there. I'm doing um, tips every single Tuesday. You can just click on that. Uh, follow on Instagram. I'll be doing these pop-ups a lot during today's um, talks. And so you can either click on the blue box to learn more, or if you want to close the box, there's always, um, there's a little X in the upper right-hand corner to close the box. So that's how you get rid of those. And um, I do a lot of webinars just like this one, and you can always find out more information at educationusacanada.ca. Today's agenda, I'm going to sp spend the first 20 minutes talking about what community colleges are in the United States and what the 2 plus 2 transfer process looks like. Then we're going to hear from eight community colleges across the United States and learn more about their schools and programs, um, which is the really fun part of this show because you get to see some of the diversity of what's available to you. So first of all, what are community colleges? Community colleges in the United States are predominantly public institutions. Uh, they are two-year colleges dedicated to creating access to post-secondary education. And I underline the word access because that's a really, really important point here. And it, the goal is really to make sure students from all different backgrounds, walks of life, as long as you've received a high school education or equivalency that you can attend a two-year college and have a pathway uh, forward either in technical uh, technical field or in a transfer pathway. They are predominantly open access, which means, uh, as I mentioned, if you've graduated high school, have a GED, um, you, can, you can attend. They have English language training programs, if that's something you're looking for as a language English language learner. If you are an athlete and you're trying to increase your athletic recruitment um, prospects, the community colleges can be a great way to do that. They have a lower cost than four-year universities, so they can be great for saving. And then there is just a lot of choice. There's 941 colleges across all 50 states and uh, I believe that probably also counts Puerto Rico so I apologize Puerto Rico if I left you. Um, so this is what the pathways look like and this is what 2 plus 2 is. So the way community colleges work in the U.S. if you're if you want to eventually get a bachelor's degree is you can enroll at the community college and do a two year degree. It's called an associate's degree. And sometimes it's even called an associate's degree for transfer. And you can get that in either the a more arts based track. So an AA or science based track. So an AS um, and when you are on campus pursuing your associates for transfer, you will work with an on-campus advisor and that person will help you make sure that you're on track to apply to a four-year university um, and to make use of the transfer agreements that they have on campus if they're available. Um, so they will work with you on making sure you're getting all your general ed requirements done and also then work with you on applying after your two years into your bachelor's degree where you will only then do two more years in order to receive that bachelor's degree. So the two plus two still equals four. Um, so a traditional bachelor's degree takes four years or if you go to community college, two plus two would also still just be 
four years. Um, so this is, again, a really great way to have access into a, a four-year university education um, by just taking a different pathway there and, um, and saving a little money along the way. Another pathway, if you're looking to get a technical degree, um, technical degrees are typically done in two years. Uh, Canadian colleges have a lot of similar kinds of technical degrees as well, so that we have this in common. What I do find is just um, because of the large number of institutions in the United States, that particularly if you're looking for a niche technical degree, um, you might find just a lot more opportunities at U.S. institutions. Technical degrees are hands-on, career-ready education, and they can be in a lot of different fields, things such as culinary or tourism, uh, automotive or construction, all across health fields and things like health technologies or nursing could be engineering technology, or maybe something in the arts, like a sound technician or film production. And what you can see all those things have in common, they're really, when you think of hands-on, I mean, you think of hand, automotive, you think of somebody with their hands inside a car, you think of engineering technician, somebody fixing something, uh, film production, someone holding a camera. So these are really, technical degrees are really something that you, you start doing as part of your degree, it's really a physical education um, and, and is really great for a student who likes that more kinesthetic kind of work. So open access. We're basically going through all my bullet points before and just talking a little bit more about each of these. The admissions process, um, most schools have 100% admissions rates. Um, it just depends on the program. Some more specialized programs like nursing or um, culinary programs I know can be uh, a little bit more impacted if there's a large number of students interested. But for the most part, you, you are able to enter the college with um, having a proof of high school completion or equivalency. Uh, you need to submit your transcripts from your uh, high school and any other post-secondary education that you've had. If you're from Quebec, you know, your CEGEP uh, transcripts as well. You will complete an application and typically pay a, a small fee, usually around maybe $30, $40. If English is not your first language, you need to submit a proof of English. So that's usually with something like the IELTS, the TOEFL, or Duolingo exams. And lastly, you will need to submit a proof of funds. So you'll need to demonstrate you can pay for a full first year of tuition and living costs um, and uh, in order to receive your documentation, it's called your I-20, to go to the institution. As mentioned, if your first language is not English or you're not currently learning in English um, and you need to uh, prepare a little bit more, community colleges are really great for that. Most have, or many, have a uh, intensive English language courses. And you can, you can simply just take an intensive language course, go back to your home country if you'd like, but you can also use those to enroll in the summer before you would start a, a full-time associate's degree. And so a lot of international students who want to improve their language skills will uh, will take one of these courses in order to really prepare them best for, for their community college studies. Of course, right now there's ongoing virtual opportunities, so you can take advantage of those. And um, usually that coursework is really geared towards helping you pass one of those English language proficiency exams like the TOEFL or the IELTS. I mentioned athletes, so there are several athletic divisions and actually all of them are going to be represented in today's talks, which is quite cool. Um, the NJCAA is the only athletic division for uh, community colleges, also known as junior colleges. You might hear the word JUCO used a lot um, around athletics. So the NJCAA has scholarships for junior college athletics. Um, California has its own division, the CCCA. Oh, I missed an A. Apologies, that should be two A's, CCCAA, and then um, and then the Northwest Athletic Conference um, also ha is a smaller division. And as you can see, um, it's not just Idaho, Oregon, and Washington, but also British Columbia. So for those of you um, who are from BC, like I see uh, 
Bubakar here is just uh, saying hello from Vancouver. You know, that's really cool. A school like Shoreline here, they can see represented in the picture as part of the NWAC and competes with British Columbia area schools. So of course, one of the big draws to community colleges is just the lower cost. Um, the tuition really ranges. It depends on the state. Um, so any public institution, you'll usually find kind of costs across institutions in the same um, group will have very similar costs. So um, you'll see a few of our colleges here today are from California. Um, so the California community colleges are part of the same system and they're going to have very similar, if not the same costs from school to school. And then if you go to a different state like Hawaii, we've got two Hawaii schools here today, you should see that those schools should have pretty similar costs from one school to the next. Um, the differences you might see are program-based. So if you're going to do something like nursing, it might cost a little bit more because of program fees associated to things like being in a clinic. Um, so that's something that you'd want to take into consideration. Um, but that's why there's kind of a large range there, because it really depends on the state um, what your cost of tuition would be. Then you also need to factor in housing. So oftentimes with housing and living costs, um, you, the amount you need to prove, remember earlier I said you have to prove that you can pay for one full year. So for a community college, that tends to be somewhere around 20 to 25,000 US dollars per year that you would need to prove. And I'm talking about without scholarships. Now, some of these schools here today are going to tell you that they also have scholarship opportunities. So um, the cost saving really comes with you know, this tuition being oftentimes uh, less than a third of the price of whatever local university is nearby. So a lot of schools have transferability to some of their local institutions and you really cut your cost savings uh, with that. Optional practical training. So this is not necessarily lower cost, but I just kind of grouped it in here because um, after you complete your schooling, you can stay for an additional year and you can work up to 12 months using OPT. And anytime you do complete a degree in the US, you can do this. So if you were doing a four year bachelor degree, you would be able to do the OPT one time when you're done. But if you go to community college, you could do your two years of community college, you can do a year of OPT, or even if you're in, in the STEM fields, you get up to three years where you can work in your field, then you can enroll and do that transfer to the university and you would get two years at that university and you can use OPT again. So some students really like this as an opportunity to, okay, I had a lower cost education, now I get to work full time for a year or maybe even more, help save that money, transfer to university, and then I'll get an OPT after those two years as well. Choice. So I, I mentioned earlier with 941 colleges, how do I how do I even think about choosing? Well, that's part of what today's showcase is about is, is helping you see some of those opportunities out there. But here's some of the things you should really think about when you're choosing a community college. First and foremost, does it have the program or the major that you would like to concentrate in? If you're not sure what you want to study, then just making sure that they have a transfer program available, which again, most community colleges will have. Location. Uh, because there's colleges everywhere, you can really choose a college um, in a location that you would be excited to live in like i don't know here we've got hawaii pictured here if that's exciting to you to live in hawaii for a couple of years you know there's an opportunity for that tuition and scholarships so of course like i mentioned there is a bit of a range of tuition you'll find there's going to be a range of living costs of course somewhere like new york city is going to be um, more expensive than uh, our friends here today from wisconsin so that's definitely something you want to take into consideration as well as if there are any scholarships international students are eligible for internships co-ops and opt opportunities this is a really important piece depending on what it is you're studying, and if you want some more hands-on learning off campus, you need to see as part of your search what kinds of opportunities those might be for the institution that you're interested in and in the surrounding community. 
And lastly, and certainly uh, very importantly, what are the transfer opportunities that institution has if that's your goal? So if you're looking to do that two plus two option, does the school have already some agreements in place with local institutions? Um, what are those agreements? And, um, you know, are they guaranteed or, you know, what are the, you know, what are the parameters for those agreements or just other um other institutions that they have had success with their student transferring into in the past. So you'll see in this presentation, quite a few institutions are going to talk about their transferability and where they tend to transfer their students into. So um, if your goal school, for example, is University of Arizona, and we have friends here from Mesa Community College here today, um, you know, that's one of their local institutions, and they're likely transferring a lot of students there, that could be a good fit for you. So Oftentimes, looking at what your dream school is, um, you can pick a community college that's nearby. Uh, oftentimes, they'll have good transferability, but you always want to, you know, you always want to check that. I'm happy to take any questions that you have. Um, we only have a couple more minutes before I pass it along. While I'm waiting for any questions to come in about community colleges in general, I do want to let you know about the Youth Ambassadors Program. Um, it will be opening next week. There'll be more details to come, but if you're somebody who said that you wanted to sign up for my Education USA list, you will get an announcement with more information. This will be a virtual program this year due to COVID, um, and basically students will be gathering together in an online uh, forum to learn more about implementing a community service project. It is a select program through the U.S. State Department. So you are selected to represent your area um, and you are going to receive a little bit of funding typically. <laughs> Again, I, I don't have all the details yet to help you put that um, community service project into action. Very cool program. So again, like I said, if you want more details, you'll need to sign up for my, for my emails and um, or as I mentioned, Instagram, it's going to be posted on there as well. Um, when the program's open, all the details will, will follow. If you want to stay in touch with me, again, I'll, I'll just bring up that Instagram one more time. Some people just joined. <laughs> so um, you can stay connected on social media. If you don't have Instagram, you can see I'm also on Facebook and Twitter at EdUSA Canada. Um, and you can always send me an email or uh, visit the website if you have more questions. Education USA is a free service and I'm always happy to answer your questions. All right, Iraq has got a great question. How many credits does a student need to have uh, to enter the junior college, technical or community college? So um, Iraqa, you typically just have to have a, um, you have to have graduated your high school in your area. Now I'm unfamiliar with Aruba's educational system. So you would need to work with your Education USA advisor to ask um, that question more specifically because I, I don't know how your system works. For a Canadian student, um, simply graduating their local high school is, is enough um, to then enter the, any community college in the United States. And I see someone's added a, a Q&A. So uh, Heather, earlier I was writing in US dollars, all of our, um, and all of our community colleges today, as they are in the United States, they will be using US dollars. So across the board, whatever you see uh, any money discussed, uh, it will be USD and not CAD. Okay, so um, I'm going to invite uh, Beta from Bellevue to go ahead and join me. As uh, I mentioned earlier, here's my here's the agenda for today, and I'll I'll flash that up each time um, before a presentation. Hi there, Beta. Hi, how are you? Good. Okay, I can hear and see you well. I'll go ahead and jump off and pass it off to you. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, I wanted to say thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, thank you, Education USA Canada, for hosting this event. My name is Beta Anderson, and I work at Bellevue College in Bellevue, Washington. And I'm happy to present to, to you today a little bit about our college. So first I would like to start with the location of uh, Bellevue College. So we are located on the west coast of the United States. So as you can see on the map, we border with um, states uh, as Oregon, and we are also very close to California. 
And uh, Bellevue College is located in Bellevue uh, City, so it's uh, easy to remember. And Bellevue City, it's uh, about a 15 minutes drive from Seattle downtown, so it's uh, very close, as well about 20 minutes uh, from Seattle International Airport. Uh, so again, it's very convenient if the student arrives to the airport, they can um, just get to Bellevue uh, pretty fast. Uh, moreover, moreover, Bellevue uh, College is also located uh, within 10 minutes drive from very known uh, tech companies such as Microsoft, Expedia, Costco, T-Mobile, um, and Amazon. Um, they're all within 10 minutes drive um, from Bellevue College. And this is a good uh, thing to know in case you would be interested in maybe getting your experience working at those companies in the future and OPT, for example, of or getting the internships. Here are some photos of uh, Bellevue itself. So as you can see, um, Bellevue has um, high raises, but also um, it has a lot of outdoorsy um, space uh, such as lakes and mountains. So um, it has has to offer something for everyone if uh, you like a city vibe but definitely has a city vibe or you can drive just 15 minutes to seattle and even experience a bigger um, city opportunities and uh, vibe um, and also uh, if you're interested in outdoorsy stuff um, again you can go skiing in the winter it's like maybe an hour drive or sometimes even shorter um, you can go hiking so there's a lot to explore at bellevue So next, I would like to talk to you a little bit more about the Bellevue College itself. So the Bellevue College is um, the third largest public school in Washington. So, um, so there is the University of Washington, Washington State University, and Bellevue College. So Bellevue College actually is the largest among the community college in Washington State. Um, as you can see on the right hand side on the slide, um, there are some uh, couple of pictures of Bellevue. Again, we are um, uh, surrounded by a lot of greenery, um, but also we have a lot of nice modern buildings. We also have on campus housing as well. Uh, we do offer uh, many different programs for you to choose from. We have associate's degree, university transfer and professional technical degrees, applied bachelor's certificates and non-degree programs. So we do have an option uh, for students to also do the bachelor's degree uh, at Bellevue College if you want to save the cost um, and uh, just stay with Bellevue College after getting an associate degree. Uh, we have about uh, 12 to 16, um, we have about 12 bachelor degrees programs that you could choose from. Um, the student uh, class size is smaller, uh, which is also uh, a benefit for a lot of students. When they come, they get to know their professor, they get to know their peers. So the average class size is about uh, 21 um, students up to 25 to one um, faculty member. Um, so here are the examples of several different um, popular majors that students choose um, when they come to Bellevue College. Um, accounting, business, computer science, engineering, nursing, and, um, and etc. Those are some of the most popular and uh, the uh, majors that students choose to do at Bellevue College. Um, and again, uh, you can see some of the examples of the bachelor programs that we offer at Bellevue College as well, and professional technical associate programs. Um, the most popular program the students choose in Bellevue College is that transfer associate program when they do two years at the Bellevue College and then transfer to another university uh, for another two years and then they get associate degree at Bellevue College and then bachelor's degree at another university. We do partner with several uh, several different universities across the United States, um, but also our students transfer to any schools of their um any schools they chose to transfer to 
Um, so here are the list of several different schools that our students chose to transfer to. Um, the most popular is the University of Washington, which is about 10 minutes uh, drive from um, Bellevue College, but also students transfer to other universities such as uh, University of Michigan at Arbor or Purdue um, or University of Michigan um, or, or University of Southern California. Uh, we do have an uh, um, athletics department and we do have several different teams. Uh, we have uh, teams for women's and men's. Mm, so we have for women's sports programs are basketball, golf, soccer, softball, tennis, volleyball. For men's, it's basketball, uh, baseball, soccer and tennis. And then if you're interested in, uh, in joining a team, um, you would email me first and I will get in contact with the coach and they would uh, maybe review um, uh, review your uh, your profile if you have one or if you just want to get the information about how everything works. I will be happy to answer any questions about that. You can always email me. I will provide my email at the end of this presentation. So um, for the application process, so the application process is entirely online and we do have intakes four times a year uh, for the fall, winter, spring and summer. Um, and uh, there is a $50 processing fee. Um, there are um, three documents uh, that were mentioned kind of at the beginning that you would need to submit, um, such a bank statement, copy of passport ID page, and the most recent transcript. And you also submit those documents online. So everything is done online and, um, and we process everything online and notified you after we review your application. And if you admit it, then you will get um, your um, admissions packet uh, delivered to your home. Uh, when it comes to tuition and fees, the dates and deadlines, as you can see, this is um, a little uh, example of how much is uh, cost at Bellevue, uh, for a student to come to Bellevue College. So if you would be interested in uh, uh, studying for three months, uh, you would pay around 4095 for nine months. We just consider one academic year, so it does not include summer. Uh, it's 12173 um, for the I-20 purposes, so for the bank statement, at the time of the admissions, you would need to submit a bank statement that shows 26130 and that includes tuition and fees and estimated cost of living. Um, dates and deadlines, so um, uh, our spring deadline, actually it's coming up very soon, just in about 10 days, February 26, uh, but also our application is already open for the next uh, uh, intakes such as summer and fall and also even the next winter. And so uh, the summer application deadline is May 25th and the fall application deadline is August 16th. Uh, we currently do have some uh, overseas online programs as well. If the student um, is uh, it's admitted and uh, it's maybe cannot come yet due to COVID, they can take, you can take some classes online. We do offer the scholarships as well. If you're interested in coming to Bellevue College uh, and even for 2021, um, fall term or winter term, uh, 2022, you would need to apply for Bellevue College first to get the student ID and then the application deadline for scholarship is March 8th. So it's actually coming up pretty soon. And here are um, the last slide uh, it's for my information. If you have any uh, questions, you can always email me. Um, uh, there will be, I think, maybe a little bit of time for me to answer some of your questions if you have any right now. And then um, uh, I also uh, posted here some social media as well uh, because we do have, uh, you know, student testimonials, our social media students who are having internships in Microsoft or had the scholarships, uh, internships in Microsoft um, and um, just student testimonials who say why they chose Bellevue College. We post our current events there, uh, uh, current students event and prospective students events. So um, I encourage you to join our social media and follow us uh, to get to know Bellevue College more.
Um, thank you so much. And now I'm ready for some questions. Thank you, Beta. The 10 minutes flew by very, very quickly. Um, so what I'm, so students, she's gonna stick around. So please use the private chat function and you can send Beta direct messages. So to Bellevue College, um, or you can use the Q&A function, but I suggest that private chat and ask all your questions. So she'll stick around 10, 15 minutes to field those. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and we're gonna move along quickly to our next presenter, Melody from Waukesha County Technical College. Fantastic. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Melody Richoff and I'm the Global Education Coordinator at Waukesha County Technical College. Waukesha can be a weird word to pronounce, but it comes from a Native American word meaning fox. An easy way to remember it is to think about Kesha and put wa in front of it, so Waukesha. Or you can just refer to Waukesha County Technical College as WCTC. So WCTC was founded in 1923 with only 443 students. Located in Pewaukee, WCTC enrolls almost 18,000 students with 3,700 full-time students. So what really makes WCT special is our hands-on approach to learning. We are hands-on higher ed. This means that all of our students have access to apply what they have learned in the classroom to real world experiences. This can be through internships, practicums, apprenticeships, or through our cutting edge facilities and equipment. Students work closely with faculty in the classroom, in clubs and labs to practice the real skills they will need on the job after graduation. Whether you're perfecting your graphic design skills in our dedicated printing and design center, gaining experience and knowledge from an engineering professional in our integrated manufacturing center, or learning the latest culinary trends and techniques in our state-of-the-art kitchen and restaurant, you'll be prepared with the skills, knowledge, and experience for your field after graduation. So WCTC is located in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and Wisconsin is in the Midwest of the United States, and it's bordered by two of the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan and Lake Superior. As you can see from the map, Pewaukee is just outside of Milwaukee. It's only about a 25 minute drive. Pewaukee is also about an hour away from Madison, the capital of Wisconsin, and about an hour and a half from Chicago. Pewaukee is a little town of over 13,000 people, but the nearby city of Waukesha has about 70,000 people, a vibrant downtown, and has been named a best city to live. Milwaukee is the largest city in Wisconsin and is known as a city of festivals hosting a festival along Lake Michigan almost every weekend in the summer, including Summerfest, which is the largest music festival in the country. Additionally, Milwaukee is home to professional hockey, basketball, baseball, and soccer teams, and has a wide variety of museums, restaurants, and shops. Madison, home to the University of Wisconsin, is an exciting university town where you can visit the state capitol, wander through the university campus, or try a fun meal on State Street to really get the Wisconsin experience. WCTC has 32 two-year associate degree programs available for international students in the schools of business, applied technologies, and protective and human services. Our most popular programs for international students are global business, business management, web and software developer, interior design, architectural drafting, graphic design, and human services associate. If you're not sure the right program for you, WCTC offers career exploration to help you find the perfect fit. So our academic calendar at WCTC is a little different from other colleges and universities around the US. Although our semester days are typical, fall starting in August and spring beginning in January, each semester is broken into two eight-week sessions. This means that students can take two classes at a time during each eight week session to maintain their immigration status. WCTC is part of the Wisconsin Technical College System, which is made up of 16 colleges around the state. Our tuition is $208.35 per credit, and we require $19,318 to be demonstrated for your I-20 to be issued. 
WCTC is proud of our cost effectiveness, but we also recognize that students still have needs when it comes to paying for college. 77% of students who attend a two-year college received some type of financial aid. WCTC has a foundation or a charitable office that awards 350,000 annually to students regardless of their financial aid or immigration statuses. Students are eligible to apply for foundation scholarships each semester with emergency funding and scholarships also available. So now the main question you're probably asking yourself is why would I go to a technical college in Wisconsin? It's cold in Canada, it's cold in Wisconsin. <laughs> so let me share with some of the reasons you should consider WCTC as an international student. WCTC is a cost-effective, high-quality learning experience for students who want to complete a two-year associate's degree and enter the workforce or transfer to a four-year university. As you can see, students directly entering the workforce with a WCTC associate's degree have starting salaries ranging from $53,000 annually to over $70,000. Additionally, 94% of WCTC students are employed within six months and 98% of employers were satisfied or very satisfied with the education and, and training their WCTC grad employees received. WCTC has strong transfer agreements with a number of universities throughout Wisconsin and is continually working to expand them. Our top transfer schools include the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee and Madison campuses, Carroll University, Marquette University, and the Milwaukee School of Engineering. By starting at WCTC and completing your associate's degree before transferring, you are essentially saving almost half of the money you would have spent at one of those universities over four years. The campus also has a strong stu student success driven culture. We're here to help you succeed. Faculty are leading professional in their fields and are committed to student success. Student services at WCTC are strong problem solvers and we're here to help support your academic and personal needs. You can develop your leadership skills and make friends in a student club or through the Student Government Association. And we also support mental health through virtual and in-person counseling services and keep your body healthy with our fitness center and classes. We also have advisors and career advisors for your academic and career questions. So applying to WCTC is easy. All you need to do is go to our website, wctc.edu forward slash international and follow the steps laid out. You'll find the international student application in step one and the first page acts as an application checklist. All documentation can be emailed to the contact information located on the website, which is me. Due to the pandemic, we're also allowing students to use our English placement test in place of the TOEFL, IELTS, or Duolingo English test. Once your application is submitted, you'll receive an ID number and directions for how to complete the placement test. Finally, our international student application fee is currently waived until June 30th of 2021, so you want to apply soon. Application deadlines are June 1st for fall semester and November 1st for the spring semester. Thanks so much for your time and paying attention. And I'm here to answer any questions you might have. now. So I'm going to ask you, which is always my burning question. What is the, like, if someone were to come visit you today and say, what's the one thing you should do when we're in town? Uh, what would you suggest? Um, honestly, I think uh, we have a famous art museum um, that I am not remembering the name of the architect right now, but it's the Milwaukee Art Museum and it's right on the lake. Um, oh, it's called the Calatrava and it kind of looks like a bird and it flaps its wings um, in the morning, at noon and at nighttime. So it's, it's a little cold to go see it now, <laughs> but in the summer, it's really fun. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And Melody's going to stick around. Please use the private chat to keep in touch with her. Uh, she'll be around at least 10, 15 minutes to answer your questions. Uh, thank you so much, Melody. And as you all see, I've also been pulling up a poll. Um, if you didn't 
when you registered say that you wanted to hear from all the institutions, um, you can simply say yes to the poll and you will get follow-up information from the university. I'll now turn it over to my guests here from Leeward Community College, uh, Aya and Catherine, hello. Thank you, Jenica. Hello, my name is Aya Harajosting. I'm the Interim Program Manager um, here at Leeward Community College, Office of International Programs, and we have Catherine here today as well. Hi, everyone. As Aya mentioned, my name is Catherine, and I'm currently in the Office of International Programs. Just to provide a little bit about where we're located, um, so Leeward Community College is located in Pearl City, Hawaii on the island of Oahu, which is one of the eight islands in the state of Hawaii. It's about a 20 minute drive from the Daniel K. International Airport. And um, Oahu is divided into windward or northeast and leeward or southeast side. So thus the name Leeward Community College. Uh, leeward is part of the University of Hawaii system which consists of three universities and seven other um, community colleges and community-based learning centers. And it's located pretty centrally between Pearl City and Waipahu. And uh, the upper campus overlooks uh, the beautiful uh, Pearl Harbor. Just to provide some background, Leeward was founded in 1968 as a two-year community college, public community college, and offers uh, Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees. And as of 2019, we have over 6,500 students, both part-time and full-time, and offer 79 associates degrees and certificates, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. So why Leeward? Uh, so first one is small classroom size. Um, our average classroom size is about 15 students to 30 students. Um, second one is quality education. So if you take general education classes in a bigger university setting, oftentimes you will be um, taking a class with almost 100 plus people. And then also um, classes are oftentimes taught by TAs, uh, teacher assistant, who are um, usually graduate students. Here at Leeward Community College, instructors are on campus uh, to teach, and they also have um, outside office hours. Um, so if you have any questions or if you have some concerns, you can always uh, reach out to our instructors. Um, we are currently providing um, online classes, but even in online setting, instructors have um, office hours outside of their lecture time, so students can still communicate with our instructors. Uh, reasonable costs. So Leeward Community College offers reasonable um, out-of-country uh, tuition compared to other community colleges in the United States and flexible course schedule. So the colleges offer, um, college offers variety of classes in different days and times in order to meet the needs of various types of students. Um, smooth transfer process. So upon completion of an associate degree program um, or transfer program, students um, can transfer to a four-year university within the University of Hawaii system um, or transfer to another school in the United States mainland. Um, and the college has two major um, programs. So the first one is English Language Institute. It is a non-credit um, intensive English program and students of other uh, language speakers can improve their English. Um, and then most of our English Language Institute students, so after completing the program, they transition to our undergraduate program. And in our undergraduate program, we offer associate degree that includes Associate of Arts and Associate of Science, and we also offer certificate program. So the difference between associate degree and certificate program, so in order to graduate with an associate degree, students are required to complete um, 60 credits. Um, for certificate programs, 
it requires less credit. So it is possible for students to complete a certificate program within a year. Some certificate programs, um, it takes less time. So it is possible to complete a certificate program in one semester, depending on the program. So after beyond Leeward, so after Leeward Community College, uh, many of our international students, uh, they transfer to four-year university. Uh, Leeward CC students can take advantage of automatic admission program, which allows students who are completing an associate degree program to transfer to four-year campus within the University of Hawaii system without having to reapply. Um, and many of our students, of course, you know, they transfer to a uh, four-year campus within the system, but others transfer to um, other private school here on the island or other four-year universities in, in the mainland United States. Uh, some other students upon completion of certificate um, or associate degree, they do optional practical training. So, which is an internship program, it allows international students to work off campus um, in the field of their study for up to one year. So, this is a picture of our culinary arts students from South Korea um, doing an internship. So, some of our students, you know, they do internship in a restaurant. If you're a culinary student, um, we've had students who did internship in a wedding company um, or worked in the airport working for an airline company. So, there are different opportunities available for international students. And here's a cost breakdown. So the total estimated cost for one academic year um, is $22,528. Um, that includes tuition and fees and medical insurance, books and supplies and living expenses. Just to provide some background on student life, probably the most popular um, things to do um, here on campus is International Club, whose mission is to increase cultural awareness and foster intercultural friendships. You can also improve your English skills through attending events um, such as volunteer opportunities. Um, and during COVID, we have virtual get togethers um, such as a virtual Halloween costume contest that the club did this past year. Um, we also have different sports that international students can participate in. The most popular is uh, football, volleyball, and basketball, and they can do those through the UH system. Here are a few of our campus resources, um, and they're currently available now uh, for vir virtual appointments. So tutoring is offered 24 seven, and the Writing Center is also a very popular resource where students can get help for assignments, uh, help for applying for scholarships, and they also put on different workshops for scholarships and also college success skills. Other things to do include International Education Week, which we hold in every, every November, and this year we held it uh, virtually. Leeward Theater also offers um, plays and musicals that the community puts on. The Pearl is a stu completely student-run restaurant, uh, and it's open, typically open to the public, but due to COVID, it's currently open to students, faculty, and staff. Um, the Student Government and Student Activities Board also organizes virtual game nights as well as a Halloween costume contest. Other volunteer opportunities students can engage in include beach cleanups and also cleanup for the Hawaiian fish pond restoration. Thank you very much. Um, so here's our contact information. And um, if you have any questions, we can um, take some questions as well. 
Thank you both so much. Um, yes, that, that 10 minutes does <laughs> fly by. Um, people have been a little bit quiet in the main chat, but hopefully you have a lot of questions that you can follow up with on the private chat. Either Aya or Catherine, um, they're going to stick around and take those questions. I just put the pop up so you can also see more on their website. Thank you both so much for uh, the information today. Thank you. Thank you. Mahalo. And we're heading into the halfway point of our program. We've got Cody now from College of the Desert. Hi, Cody. Hello, everybody. My name is Cody McCabe, and I'm the Director of International Education here at College of the Desert, uh, one of the fastest growing community colleges in California, in beautiful, sunny Southern California. Um, this is a shot of our main campus, which is located in the heart of Palm Springs in the Palm Desert area of the Coachella Valley. So if you haven't been on a to, you know, vacation to our area, you probably know another Canadian who has or who owns a home here, all right? So then let me take you on to our next campus shot here. This is also our main campus. Um, we were actually recently ranked one of the 50 most beautiful campuses in the United States. And of course, a lot of that has to do with our architecture, has to do with the beautiful palm trees surrounding the campus, mountains and all of that good stuff. Um, so we, we of course want to have you see for yourself by coming to join us at College of the Desert. And what I want to do is, you know, next kind of give you a brief overview of the, of the college. So you've got a great introduction to what uh, California community colleges and community colleges all over the United States can offer you. In many ways, we see College of the Desert as a model community college, all right? We've won several recent National Student Success Awards, okay? And what this really has to do with is um, students completing their degrees, how quickly they complete their degrees, and how successful they are once they finish their programs with us. We're also very fortunate to have quite a large local investment in student success at College of the Desert. Recently, we received over $500 million for student success initiatives. That's everything from new buildings to technology, laboratories, and uh, different types of programming to support our students. And I know as you've learned, um, university partnerships are really what community colleges are famous for. And COD is very strong in this area. So given our Southern California location, some of the popular destinations for our students would include University of California, Los Angeles, of course, Cal State Long Beach, USC is a big destination for our students, but our students are going everywhere, all over California. And in fact, many are transferring outside of California. That's just how flexible the system is and how re well recognized California community college degrees are. Okay, so we have several advantages for you as a Canadian student, as an international student in our institution. Okay, one big one, priority course registration. We're gonna help you get the classes you want and the classes you need before just about any other student on campus. And so that really helps you stay on track uh, with your educational goals and make sure you get the classes that you want. We have very flexible academic programming. So we know, you know, the traditional route is what we call the associate degree for transfer. That's the two year degree. But we also welcome international students to enroll in dozens of what we call one year certificate programs. And then becoming really popular with us is also gap year and gap semester programs. So you can come in knowing what you wanna study or not. You can stay for a semester, stay for two years and transfer. There's a lot of flexibility there. Now, the academic programs that we offer are very much based in workforce development, okay? And helping you to, to start your career by, by participating in the classes that you take. And so one of the options for many of our majors is to do work experience. And so you're, you're working, you're doing an internship, you're learning about the field you'll be a professional in, and that's counting towards your degree. That's something you can do before you graduate. And once you finish, you've heard about OPT, optional practical training, we have a really strong support system to help international students navigate that path. An excellent value. So for College of the Desert, uh, you've heard community colleges often are a fraction of the cost of the universities, and that's particularly the case with College of the Desert. So our total cost, including housing, books, meals, tuition, insurance, all related fees for one year is less than $20,000. And I'm also going to tell you in a minute about scholarship opportunities available for you. 
So now I'll teach you a little bit more about our location. So we're in a great spot down in sunny Southern California, as I mentioned, uh, very close to Los Angeles, very close to San Diego. And we have an international airport within a few minutes of the campus that has direct flights to almost every major Canadian city. So it's quite convenient. And it's also why Canadians are among the six, you know, a, a large part of the 16 million tourists that we get in our area each year. Now, some people have a concept of living in the desert that might be a little uncomfortable or undesirable. That is not us. We have a very beautiful, desirable location for any of you who have ever been here, seen photos. We call it Desert Redefined. It's a very lush area. We have, you know, grass and 100 golf courses around the campus and the whole area is loaded with parks. Outdoor living is kind of really what we're known for. Uh, and so that's just part of the student lifestyle. And remember, you're at school during the fall, winter and spring, right? Those are the perfect times. And that's when we get all of our visitors and they're coming for the hundreds of resorts in our area. They're coming for golf, tennis. Of course, the, the music festivals are coming for our film festivals that happen throughout the year. Hiking, Joshua Tree is only about 20 minutes away uh, and ski slopes very close as well too, all right? You probably understand us best for the Coachella Music Festival, right? One of the most popular music festivals in the world, about 200,000 people come for it each year and it's located only about 20 minutes from campus. So it's a quite popular um, event for our students. Okay, back to academics though, right? We have over 100 different academic programs. Um, the popular ones, of course, would be business, computer science, other sciences like engineering, biology, chemistry. But we also have some programs that are unique to community colleges, like our film studies program, like our hospitality management program and our architecture program, as these are programs that are very directly connected to the economy of our area, the Coachella Valley. And again, you don't have to make a decision before you come. You can take a sample of courses, which is often what students do, particularly if they're coming as a gap year or gap semester student. Okay, the admission process for College in the Desert is quite flexible and it's honestly quite simple. All right, we try to keep it as stress free as possible. So as a Canadian student, we're looking for high school graduation or 18 years or older, right? We're an open access institution considered democracies, college, community colleges, we consider ourselves educating the top 100% of students, right? So there's no SAT required. For our Canadian applicants, we don't require English proficiency tests for admission either. We're not gonna require application essays. There's a simple online form. And you also have flexible deadlines too, because there really isn't one. We encourage you to apply early so you can take advantage of our uh, priority course registration, but that's not required. We accept student applications all throughout the year. As I mentioned, scholarships, okay? We have some great scholarships for our international students. For our new students, we have the Global Access Scholarship. We have one of the wealthiest college foundations in the country, which means you've got access to several other scholarships as a current student. And then we also reward our students for being a part of our campus community, taking leadership roles, participating in activities. Now, we can't offer athletic scholarships as a California community college, but we welcome our Canadian students to try out and participate in any one of these sports. And while we can't offer scholarships, many of our students will transfer onto universities frequently with scholarships from these teams uh, to continue playing as they're working on their bachelor's degrees, okay? So that's definitely a part of who we are as a, as a California community college. And also, sometimes you hear student life at a community college may not be like a university. Um, we feel that that's not the case at COD. Um, we have an excellent student life program. Our international program is one of the most popular programs on the campus. At any given time, we're about 50% international, about 50% local students, which really gives you an opportunity to meet uh, people and make friends fast. And we're always looking for students to take leadership roles on campus through these activities. And we're taking students off campus on a regular basis to see what's beautiful about Southern California. We're taking you to the beaches, we're taking you to amusement parks, we're taking you to go hiking, uh, professional sports. You've got a lot of opportunities to engage with other students on and off campus as a COD student, okay? So I think it's time's about up here. This is my contact information. Uh, I'd be happy to speak with you after this in the chat. I'd also be happy to uh, speak with you after this uh, event. And then we have students on staff, uh, Canadian students as well, who can talk with you about their experiences studying at College of the Desert. So thank you for your time. 
Thank you, Cody. And um, the desert sounds fabulous with our minus 20 weather that we're having today. <laughs> Yeah. Very enticing photograph. <laughs> that's a lot of Canadians seem to think so, so that's for sure. Thank you so much. And as a reminder, in the handout section, we have um, some great information people can download about these programs as well. So don't forget to click over there. Cody will be hanging out to answer any questions you have. So please send him private messages. He's happy to happy to help answer those questions for you. Our next presenter is uh, coming to us. Uh, we're headed back over the Pacific to Hawaii once again. Um, Damien from uh, Kapiolani Community College. Hi, Damien. Hi, everybody. Or aloha. <laughs> aloha, yeah. Okay, um, so let's just jump into this. Aloha, my name is Damien Zuckeron. I'm with Kapiolani Community College over on the island of Oahu. Um, we are, like Leeward, a member and of the University of Hawaii system. So all of those things that Leeward uh, mentioned, uh, direct transfer into our four-year institution, is applicable for our institution as well. Um, about our name, we always get asked this question, so I figured I'd put it in here and, and answer it. Uh, Kapiolani Community College is actually named after uh, a former queen, Queen Julia Kapiolani. And, um, I think we're, well, we're the only uh, state in the nation that has a royal palace, a Iolani palace, but um, yeah. And she uh, coined our motto, Kulia Ikanu, which is strive for the highest. And uh, this is something that we try to instill in our students and um, uh, also the faculty and staff strive for as well. Uh, we are located right at the foot of Diamond Head. You can see Diamond Head uh, Crater right there on the left side of the picture um, and over to the right is Waikiki that's where all the hotels and the famous Waikiki beaches in the red circle here is our campus uh, very very conveniently located we're about mm, about 10 minutes by bus into Waikiki and um, you know we always get asked whether or not you can walk to the beach from our campus the answer is yes Um, this is kind of an interesting fact about our institution. We have about, yeah, about 700 international students, which is actually the most uh, undergraduate international students for all of the University of Hawaii campuses. Um, you can see a large number of our students come from Asia, um, but we also have uh, some students. Every year we have about maybe two or three students from Canada as well. Our most popular majors are, of course, the liberal arts, which would be the transfer um, major into the four-year uh, four university. And then uh, hospitality and tourism, very, very popular. Culinary arts, natural science, and accounting. So those are all listed right here. Um, what you can kind of notice, uh, it's for some of these majors, we have the CA next to them. And CA stands for Certificate of Achievement. This is typically a one-year uh, course of study. And you can elect to start with that, or you can just decide to do the associate's degree and do the full two years. But um, today, I think we kind of wanted to focus more on the um, advantages of the Certificate of Achievement program, which I'll get into in a bit. Uh, here we have again our tuition and fees. Uh, many of our students elect to do homestay or uh, room share with other students or get their own apartments. So we have those listed right over there. Tuition is not bad actually, yeah. So a little bit over $4,000 for 12 credits, but a little bit over $8,000 for the year. So for those programs that had the Certificate of Achievement option, we have Culinary Arts, and we are the number one culinary school in the state. Um, in the picture right there, you see our culinary team uh, competed nationally and won. Uh, three of those students are actually international students, I should mention. 
And below we have hospitality and tourism because of course it's Hawaii. So we're all about hospitality and tourism. We have a great, great program in that. Our professors and instructors are all former industry people and they come with a wealth of knowledge. Uh, business, legal, and technology, uh, accounting, IT, and things like that. We also have certificate of achievement programs for those as well. And at the bottom, I just put it in uh, just to show that we do have the uh, liberal education programs for transfer and things like uh, new media arts and STEM and whatnot. Yeah. So here we, we want to talk a little bit more about the certificate of achievement. This is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, this is not too bad. You know, you could study for two, two semesters here in Hawaii. And this is just the hospitality operations management example. But two semesters, complete your certificate of achievement, and then you could go into OPT. And I know Jenica mentioned a little bit about it earlier, but OPT is a in, it's, in, it's a practical training program offered by the United States government you, through USCIS and you can work one year after completing either a certificate of achievement or an associate's degree. All of your jobs have to be related to your major but uh, you know in Hawaii if you're doing something like hospitality and tourism that makes it a lot easier to find work doesn't it? So here is a pattern that we've been seeing um, for the past few years. It's been gaining in popularity quite a bit. So what our international students will do is they'll come in for the first year to community college, then they'll finish their certificate of achievement. After that, they'll do OPT for one year or 12 months, right? One year. And then many of them will come back, finish up their associate's degree for the second year, and then do another OPT after that. So that's two OPTs, two years of OPT. And um, it's been really popular um, because, you know, in fields like culinary arts or hospitality and tourism, the education is fantastic, but a lot of times employers are looking for work experience. So, uh, you know, many of our students will opt for this. Two years of study and two years of OPT. Um, I think maybe in the past two years I've had, you know, maybe like 30 or 40 students come back to do this kind of thing. So it's been very popular. I'm going to cut it off short there to answer any questions. I know that generally we tend to have quite a few questions about this kind of thing. But um, I'm open. Thank you for listening. Thanks, Damien. We've had kind of a quiet group today. Um, but I think, you know, it would be really great if you could tell us of a couple of different um, maybe success stories you've heard or just like specifics of the kind of, especially you talk about like culinary and tourism being like really popular. Um, yeah, are there some good examples? of those uh yeah oh absolutely um you know we for culinary arts especially i mean we have so many of our international graduates go on and work it under under either famous chefs or famous restaurants or hotels um there are a number of of our graduates that have done that um for hospitality and tourism you know um it's it doesn't happen super often but maybe two or three people a year after they've done OPT and done well, they'll get sponsored for work visas um, through mm. the company that they did OPT with. And so we, we love it when that happens. But, um, you know, uh, more and more, I think uh, employers are looking at our graduates, seeing the quality education they've received and, you know, noticing the quality work that they do and then just keeping them on board. Speaking of on board, can you take surfing class through the community college and is it credited or not credited? <laughs> well, you know, uh, 
<laughs> this is funny. I'm I'm being yelled at from the background. Um, uh, one of my colleagues is saying, "Well, no, actually, the staff will take you out surfing." Nice. And it's credit. <laughs> so <laughs> he, goes, he goes every day after work. Once the you know once 4:30 rolls around, he's in his car and off to the beach. So. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the info and please stick around and ask Damien uh, questions in the private chat. Um, as you saw with the pop up uh, as well, you can see more information that way. And it, um, Damien, if you have a handout you'd like me to include, just send me an email quickly and I'll, I'll throw it in there uh, so students okay. can download that as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're moving right along, and we have uh, Isabel from College of the Canyons, and Isabel is a Canadian student there at College of the Canyons. Yes, I am. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to hearing your perspective. I'll go ahead and turn it over to you. Great. Thank you. So hello, everyone. My name is Isabella. Um, like Jenica said, I am a Canadian international student in my first year of study at College of the Canyons, and in four years, I will graduate from UCLA. I am also the student ambassador for COC's international services and programs, and I primarily focus on providing and promoting the student voice. Personally, I chose College of the Canyons for a reason, um, and I'm here to explain why I think it's a great fit for other Canadian students as well. So, our job as a community college is to get you as a student from where you are now to where you want to end up. We are the middleman. So the ultimate reason I picked College of the Canyons was that I want to graduate from UCLA and COC can pretty much guarantee that I will get there. Um, you can see over here that there's a really nice image of College of the Canyons in comparison to the rest of California, uh, right next to Los Angeles, stones throw away from the beach. Um, it's a California community college, so we have a transfer guarantee to the California State University System and the University of California System, which includes schools like UCLA and UC Berkeley, both of which are two of the most prestigious schools uh, in the country. So that's definitely something to think about. Um, College of the Canyon specifically, every course that you take will transfer. So you don't have to worry about um, having to retake courses or not having enough credits to get into the program that you want to get into. We have an incredibly high transfer rate to these schools um, and a very streamlined system in California that makes it as easy as possible for you to get where you want to go. And that doesn't just have to be in California. Uh, COC students transfer all over the country, um, including to Ivy League universities. And so you have a lot of options, which I think is really important. We also have lots of athletics. Um, Something really great about Southern California is you can play sports all the time. Um, I found that some schools kind of say they have athletics just to say they have athletics. Um, but College of the Canyons is really good at our sports programs. We have very successful programs and international students are a huge part of it. So we have 19 state championships in golf, a national championship in football, four state championships with our women's cross country team and three state championships for baseball, as well as many, many other titles. Um, again, it's very successful. And it's also a great way to get a scholarship as an international student at a four year university once you transfer. I'm sure you know, as an international student, you don't have a lot of opportunities for scholarships in the United States. So this is kind of a little trick to get you in that door. Okay, so let's talk about location. California obviously is gorgeous, but I think that location matters a lot more than you think it does. Um, personally, I know I need to feel safe and secure in my space so I can succeed in academics. If you are focused on a lot of other things, your studies are going to slide. There's just nothing you can do about that. Um, but, as an international student, you're going to be new to the city. You're going to want to explore and have fun and, you know, try new things. And I think that's really special. College of the Canyons is located in Santa Clarita, which is just outside of Los Angeles, like I said. So you can see these pictures right here. These were taken by an iPhone like two weeks ago. Um, it's just gorgeous. Um, the, the city is stunning. It's also one of the safest cities in the United States, let alone in California. Personally, as a young woman, um, I think it's really important that I need to be able to walk home at night and not feel like I'm going to die. Uh, and I do. So 
that's something I like to factor in. So you can see um, Santa Clarita is a master planned community. So um, there's lakes everywhere, there's bike paths everywhere. It's very accessible. Um, you're able to get everywhere as easily as possible that like two storms that we have a year look like this. I mean, it's, it's just stunning. Um, but you're also within an hour of Los Angeles, if that, and pretty much anything you could ever want to do. I mean, concerts, museums, the Getty is gorgeous and it's, it's pretty close to Santa Clarita. Um, restaurants, the beach, hiking trails, amusement parks were like literally down the street from Six Flags, which if you like roller coasters, it's awesome. Um, and we're barely an hour away from Disneyland. So there's lots of stuff for you to do. I am from Calgary, Alberta, which <laughs> I'm sure you all know has terrible winters. Um, and I'm pretty outdoorsy. So a big factor for me was knowing that I can go outside and kind of be in nature whenever I want. Um, that's pretty important. So this is actually me at my favorite hiking spot about 20 minutes from Santa Clarita. And I just think it's crazy how you can be so close to the city and feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Um, you can just see like that horizon just goes on forever. You just, you literally can't beat the location of where we are um, and you can't beat the weather. I <laughs> would not give up this weather. So that's kind of it. Um, please email isp at canyons.edu if you have any questions or just want any information. We're always, um, we always have someone monitoring the email. So you're going to have someone respond to you within 24 hours guaranteed. Our job as staff is to do the work for you. We make it as easy as humanly possible to get to your dream school and we are always willing to help. Our academic counselors are great. They will help you get all the courses that you need. So you can get into the school you want, not worry about like missing two math courses that you needed. If I didn't believe in College of the Canyons and had such a great experience myself, I would not be here pitching it to you. So thank you very much. Thank you. And we have a couple minutes left. So I'd love to ask a couple follow up questions. Yeah, First absolutely. of all, uh, Isabella, you are you're clearly um, working. Uh, tell us a little bit as you know, with admissions. So tell us a little bit about, you know, how did you get that role as an international student? And, and what are some of your responsibilities? Yeah, so um, I work with recruitment and admissions. I also help run uh, student office hours. So I'm kind of like the middleman between our um, head honchos and the students. So I, I like to help out, um, really give more of a personal perspective. I think it's important, as a student myself, I wish I had been able to talk to other prospective students when I was looking for a school. It would have helped make my decision, um, although I'm very happy with the decision that I've made. Um, my, my process in getting this position, I knew that I needed to work um, and working at the school is available for international students. Mm -hmm. So um, I really just did an interview and they put me with ISP. I'm a very open, talkative person, so they figured I'd be a good fit. And I, I was really excited to have the chance to work with other international students and kind of help them along with the process that I literally had to do myself. Yeah, and I'm curious, how did you find out about community colleges um, as an opportunity? So I've been in LA for a couple of years uh, before this. I, mm -hmm. was, um, I was in the film industry actually and um, working as a dancer and an actor. And I was an actor. Oh. I'm just gonna mute that microphone there. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Um, I was in an accident, so I actually broke my back and had oh, to, wow. yeah, um, so I kind of had to reevaluate, and I always mm -hmm. loved school, I love psychology, that's the program I'm in, and I figured I wanted to go back, but um, I think, like I mentioned, I want to go to UCLA, um, mm -hmm. it's one of the best psych programs in the country, and I wanted to stay here, I love Los Angeles. So I started looking into community colleges. I didn't think I'd be able to get into UCLA after being out of high school for a few years. And, you know, there, it's kind of iffy. So knowing that, learning that that was an opportunity um, through my mm -hmm. own research really was like, um, like the clincher for me. There was no other choice that I could have made in that sense. 
Yeah, well, I'm so glad like that you're able to speak to other students about your experience. And especially, I, you know, I get so many students interested in the UC system and, and this is such a great pathway to get there. Um, congratulations on UCLA for, for yeah. next year. And uh, thank you so much for the information. Uh, Isabella is going to stick around, of course. Yeah. And did I, I don't think I did the pop up for you yet, did I? No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Here we go. So yeah. if you want more information, you can click there and of course, send uh, Isabella a private chat message. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, our next presenter is going to be uh, Aziz from Mesa Community College. And uh, Aziz, hello. Hi, your microphone's on. You're a black screen right now. Um, but we can hear you. So I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, just keep moving if you, oh, you've disappeared. But it looks like I could probably still hear you. Do you want to try again? Aziz? I'm here. Okay. Yes. We can't see you, but we can hear you. So if you want to just go ahead, that would be great. There you are. I think you're on mute. It keeps switching back on and off. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'd like to uh, thank you, uh, Jenica, Education USA, Canada, for inviting us and all the participants in the webinars, including our wonderful colleagues from all the other community colleges. Mesa Community College is located right outside Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, we're one we're one college um, of the Maricopa Community College system, which is ten colleges in total. We have an average enrollment of about two hundred thousand uh, students uh, annually. And here at Mesa, we have the largest population of international students. Um, we have students in the last semester from sixty different countries. And I'm joined today by um, my colleague, the international student advisor, the mother of our international students, um, Mrs. Jennifer, Jennifer Vinsa, and she's gonna provide some more information and I'll pop in every once in a while. We really, uh, we really, our main selling point for Mesa is that it's a very diverse college and students, regardless of where they come from anywhere in the world, uh, feel at home. We have, um, large ethnic communities. We have Canadian students as well. We have students from um, every continent except for, I think, Antarctica. And um, it's a lot of fun to study here. It's an inexpensive place uh, tuition-wise. And our main connections with the top universities, Northern Arizona, University of Arizona, Arizona State, where you can benefit fully from the two plus two system. So let's see if we can uh, go ahead, Jennifer, all yours. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Jennifer Vinza reporting to you live from Mesa, Arizona. And I'm here in um, the Phoenix area where Mesa is located. And the weather is beautiful. It's probably um, about 18 degrees Celsius, like in the 60s Fahrenheit. And let's see, I need to be able to get my slides back so I can see where are my slides. How do I get my slides? Yeah, I can't I can't see the slides, but Ah, there they are. Okay, great. Okay, so some fa facts about Mesa, Arizona. So Mesa is in about central Arizona, and Arizona is in the southwest of the U.S. We're next door to Canada, and we are um, also not too far from the Mexican border. There are a lot of great road trips, day trips, and weekend trips from the Mesa area. We're the third largest city in Arizona, a suburb of Phoenix. And we're close to many year-round recreational activities. Um, the cool thing about Arizona is that it's got about seven different uh, climate zones. So you could 
realistically go snow skiing in the morning and go water skiing in the afternoon because it's just a few hours to the mountains and we're down here in the Sonoran Desert, which is actually a lot more colorful and beautiful than you would imagine. It's this time of year, it's full of, of bright springs flowers, it's beautiful. So we are also just a day trip to the Grand Canyon. So if you wanted to drive a few hours north, you can go see one of the natural wonders of the world, Grand Canyon. So as Aziz mentioned, Mesa Community College is part of the Maricopa Community Colleges. We've got about 20,000 students we serve per year. We've got several hundred international students here at Mesa. And we've got our own international education office that serves them. We're accredited by the Higher Learning Commission and we're a top community college, according to the Aspen Inter Institute. And we've got industry, industry accreditations for nursing, dental hygiene, veterinary technology, all kinds of applied science programs, as well as our university transfer programs. So due to the pandemic, a lot of our classes are online. Some of them are still in person. But every service, every success service that we offer in person at Mesa Community College is also available online, virtually. So everything from uh, counseling to um, disability resources to tutoring is available online and advising, including myself. And we've got small classes like a lot of the community colleges do. Um, we really recommend that students start at the community colleges because of that personal attention as, as the others have mentioned. We've got close to 200 programs, degrees and certificates and university transfer pathways to all of our state universities in Arizona, as well as many out of state. We've got an intensive ESL program for anybody who needs to get a foundation of English first. We've got well-qualified faculty who also teach at the university since they've got lots of experience in their field as well as master's and doctorate degrees. Um, as I mentioned, all kinds of um, available services, the computer labs, free tutoring, disability resources, career services, all available for free with your tuition. We don't have dormitories, most community colleges do not, but we do have nearby campus housing within walking distance. Uh, right across the street, there are apartments and other restaurants and activities within walking distance to MCC. So if you are interested in graduating, getting your bachelor's degree from one of our Arizona State Universities, you start off with us. Uh, you get your first two degrees of your bachelor's degree for much less money and much more attention and success. Students who start off at Mesa Community College tend to do better at the university than the students who start off right away as freshmen at the universities. So we've got Arizona State University close by in Tempe, also in the Phoenix area. We have University of Arizona in Tucson, We've got Northern Arizona University up north in Flagstaff, and we have Grand Canyon University, which is a private university located down here in Phoenix. And if you are interested in going out of state, we've got out of state as available as well. If you are interested in starting your studies this summer online at, through Mesa Community College, you can do that. Um, ideally, students would come in August in person to study in F1 status at Mesa Community College. And if you are able to come in person in the fall, that would be great. If you want to get a head start, you can take summer classes online through Mesa. We've got the placement test exams online that you can take from home for the reading, writing, and math for placement into classes you need. There's just a small proctoring fee that will enable you to know before you even come what classes you will start with. Our st student application is online free, no application charge. As I mentioned, the counseling services, um, academic advisory, tutoring, everything you need is available virtually if you aren't able to come in person yet. I think we're uh, we're about out of time, Jennifer, but we'll okay. make it real quick. 
We have a whole range of extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. Arizona is a beautiful place to study. So let us know yep. if you have any questions. We would be happy to answer them. And um, we look forward to meeting you in person. If you have any questions, please yep. send us a, a question to questions at mesacc.edu. Thank you yep. very much for listening. Thank you so much, uh, Jennifer and Aziz, for the information. Mm -hmm. um, do feel free. You, could, you can throw that email out there in the chat if you want as well. Um, and folks can download the handout. And please use the private chat to, uh, to connect further with our presenters. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we are at the final leg of our program. Uh, East Los Angeles College is our final institution today. We have Jeremy who's going to be presenting. Um, and thanks for everybody who's been sticking around. Hello, Jeremy, I think you're coming on microphone. Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. Aziz, if you wouldn't mind uh, keeping your uh, camera off, that would be great. Oh, I thought I turned it off. Sorry. No problem. And so, Jeremy, I can hear you. Are you going to stay uh, off camera then? No. Oh, can you see me? I can't no. see you, but I can hear you. Okay. As long as you That's can hear okay. me, I, I can see myself. Um, <laughs> Perfect. We'll let you go okay, ahead and get we'll started get to the then. PowerPoint. <laughs> All right. Since I'm the last, again, thank you all for uh, patiently uh, listening to all the presentations. If I can summarize, um, America welcomes you. Uh, truth of the matter, if you select any of the community colleges that you have uh, met today or other ones, uh, the United States does welcome you and international students are essential uh, to our schools and to our nation. So thank you for considering. Uh, what I do want to focus a little bit more, as kind of was mentioned, um, is location and the advantages really to my city in Los Angeles uh, that you do know. Um, first, a little bit of geography of where we are. Uh, Los Angeles is the second largest city in America uh, and is located in Southern California. Uh, we are actually in a suburb of Los Angeles, uh, a city known as Monterey Park. Um, and uh, safety is critical. Um, I've been in international education for well over 20 years. And the common question I get is safety, safety, safety. Uh, we were voted by Money Magazine just a few years ago uh, as the third best small city. Uh, safety, uh, convenience, uh, affordability, all those were factors. So we are quite proud of our suburb of Monterey Park in terms of safety. We are a large college, some 27,000 local students and about 300 international students. Being a large college means that we have a wide range of academic programs. Again, you could check our website for a complete listing of them. And yes. Okay. Um, we are a transfer institution. Yes, we do have associate two-year degrees. Yes, we do have a full OPT program. Yes, we do have certificates, vocational, technical programs. But our big focus is transfer, uh, mainly because in California, we are blessed with what's kind of referred to as the Ivy League of public universities including the top ranked, number one, number two, public universities are here in California, being UCLA and UC Berkeley. And we do have transfer admission guarantee. The key word is the guarantee, uh, where you can come to East LA College for the two years, complete those first two years as explained at two plus two program and have a guaranteed transfer to the majority of the UC. Uh, the only ones that are not part of the guarantee are UCLA, UC Berkeley, and San Diego. But besides that, you could be guaranteed to transfer, even as an international student, uh, to some of the best public universities. Um, also related to the UC system is coming to a California community college and completing the program there, you have California residency 
for admission purposes, not for tuition purposes, but you would have priority as coming from a California community college, going to the UC compared to another of our 49 states and transferring to a UC. Yes, we do transfer to private. USC, of course, is one of the uh, bigger uh, private universities in our area, but you can go uh, internationally. I mean, even nationally across the U.S. We have students transferred to NYU, uh, University of Texas, Chicago, etc. Now, uh, the great thing about California, and, and I love California, um, if we were to break off from the United States, and no, we're not going to do that, uh, we would have the sixth largest economy in the world. Uh, so in terms of looking at uh, a strong economy, job opportunities, internships, uh, this is a place in California. Uh, famous companies, yeah, you can see Disney, uh, Facebook, Apple, Intel. Uh, so California is a strong economic area, great for your future opportunity. You heard him mention many times, weather, weather, weather. Um, I was looking up uh, what's the weather like going to be this week. Um, in terms of the range for Fahrenheit, the coldest, 71 degrees. Uh, the highest temperature, 81. But I know you're in Canada. You guys use Celsius like the rest of the world does. Um, and that range would be from 22 to 27. So it's beautiful pretty much year round. 292 sunny days a year. Uh, so we have tremendous weather, specifically in our area here in the San Gabriel Valley, which is known as a microclimate. Uh, it's near perfect. Um, you can go anywhere uh, within uh, about an hour. You can go to the beach. Um, sunsets in California are amazing. You can go uh, skiing, or now the younger generation snowboarding, uh, going up to our mountains. Um, we have all these national parks, you know, of course, Joshua Tree, Yosemite. Uh, there are so many within California. It's beautiful landscape. We are a diverse area, of course, being in Los Angeles. Food, food, food. We joke that we have the second best ethnic food in the world. We have the second best Chinese food. We have the second best Mexican food. We have the second best, probably even Ethiopian. We have so many different ethnic enclaves. So if you are a foodie, this is the place place to be. You heard about uh, the transfer uh, process 2 plus 2. Um, our partnerships uh, in the brochures, there's a letter of support from UC Berkeley that documents that we have a higher uh, than state average acceptance rate to Berkeley. Uh, UCLA, we're also quite high. Um, our recent admission rate uh, for international students to the UC 86%. Yay. Uh, our cost of education is kind of about the same compared to other California community colleges and many other community colleges across the U.S. Of course, no SAT, uh, English not required for uh, Canadians. And again, no matter vocational transfer or uh, a, a uh, uh, associate program, we have it for you. But what really makes East Los Angeles College different than others is our experience. Again, we have over 20 years of helping thousands of students transfer to uh, top universities or completing their educational uh, goal. Uh, we have an assigned counselor. We have, of course, campus employment available, and we have student ambassadors. We have developed a big brother, big sister program where the older students, when you're older, mentor the younger students, explain the process, give advice about classes and everything else. We have nearly 200 campus clubs for any type of topic, but several related towards international student, international student club, Chinese student association, Vietnamese student association, et cetera. We um, have campus tours. We're always visiting UCLA, USC, taking a road trip up to Berkeley. We have full support services, tutoring, a math lab, a writing center, everything that is designed to help you to be successful. So if you want further information, you can go through our website, you can send us an email. If you have questions, you can ask us now. Uh, but we welcome you and thank you for considering uh, the United States. Thank you for considering California and keep LA in mind.
Thank you so much, Jeremy, for the information. And um, so, uh, and which which city is uh, East LA uh, College in again? Monterey Park, not Monterey. That, that's a different yes. area. It's very beautiful, Monterey Park. Gotcha. Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much for the information and um, uh, for closing us out with another sunny institution <laughs> with all the weather reports you all are giving us. You're making us jealous up here. <laughs> So uh, Jeremy is going to stick around for a few more minutes. We'll keep the room open in case you have more questions. Um, but this does wrap up our program. As a reminder, Education USA is a free service. If you have any more questions, you can always follow up and send me an email about you know general questions about studying in the U.S. Thank you so much for your participation today. Participation today.